Remember the good old days when two meter sideband was active? Yeah, me either. <laughs> I'm not old enough hand to remember that, but there is a there is a Saturday night net that runs out of Maryland here. Uh, net control is exactly north, and uh, I should probably not put that on top of the amp. Well, I'll move it in a minute, but I just installed a nine a ten element Yagi, uh, two meter Yagi, and um, I installed this really cool rotator. Uh, which is walking out to the antenna, grabbing the mask and turning it by hand. And then, <laughs> so it's pointed due west most of the time, which is where most of the activity comes from in my area. Uh, but on, on uh, Saturday nights, 8 o'clock, I'll run out there, point it north, and see if I can get into that net. But I've been calling CQ here using this um, uh, B108G Mirage amp. And uh, it's a 10 watt in, 80 watt out. And I found that if I run it closer to 20 watts, I actually get close to 80 watts out. So I'm keeping an eye on it, keeping an eye on everything, seeing if it gets hot. And, you know, it's got a pretty good protection circuit in it, so I'm not too worried about that. And if I blow it up, I think I paid five bucks for this thing a long time ago. So anyways, yeah, I mean, it, it, you, know, you, can hear, you can hear the relays clicking and whatnot. Kilo four, Mike Juliet Victor calling CQ, 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 CQ. Kilo 4, Mike Juliet Victor calling CQ, 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 CQ. Kilo 4, Mike Juliet Victor calling CQ, 2 meters and standing by. But, yeah, I'm not getting anything back. Can't play for real. Tramp works. You can see, I mean... Radio Kilo 4 Mike Juliet Victor. Let's see if on. Radio Kilo 4 Mike Juliet Victor. Hello, Radio Kilo 4 Mike Juliet Victor calling CQ, 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 CQ. Kilo 4 Mike Juliet Victor calling CQ and standing by. So there's the Yagi, <laughs> 10, 10 element, uh, let's zoom in a little bit on it, 10 element, 2 meter only Yagi, and that's a 2 meter 440 J pole sitting on top of it, and then I do have a guide with three lines, because it's up there pretty high using just a, just a single post, so it's kind of sketchy, but I have a guide uh, three ways. So it's pretty solid. I, I mean, I really did some bending on it to make sure that it wasn't gonna fall or bend anything easy. That's my other two meter antenna right there. And you can kind of see my other antennas in the background wire antenna. So, anyways. So, anyways, if there's anyone in the area and they wanna test out two meter sideband i've been i've been spinning the dial up and down uh i can get a couple of beacons i think the um let's see if i remember how to do this two wait <laughs> look i messed up already band enter 144.285 mode I was coming in a lot clearer than this earlier. Come on. So that should be the beacon out of Peters. It's either Petersburg or I can't remember which which place it is. And that Yagi is pointed directly to tree, so the fact that it's receiving anything at all is kind of amazing. Good thing is I have a fairly clear line of sight north. So on the Saturday night net up in Maryland, I can should be able to get to it. Anyways, uh, that's it. Help me, help me somebody. I want to do some two meter sideband activity. Seven three.